Hi, this is Jeff from ANL Canada Labs. I'm going to talk to you today about the ANL Smart Submit program. It's a newly updated version of the program for this spring. Um, it's got some new functionality, plant tissue, feed analysis, and some other um, functionality to the soil module. The whole uh, purpose of this app is for you to take samples out in the field using the labels that, were print that are printed from the data web. You're able to scan this QR code with your phone or tablet and uh, it submits all this all the sample information to us electronically so it saves on paperwork and increases uh, accuracy of the submission so first thing we'll do is I'll talk to you about um, creating these um, these labels from the data web so the first step will be to log into the data web if you don't have a username or account number for the data web please uh, give the lab a call and they'll set you up with that so once you're logged into the data web, you'll go under the tools menu, smart submit labels, and from here you have the option to print out the different um, module submission labels. And it says right also on here, take a note, it uses Avery 5162 labels that you can get at Staples or other office supply stores. And so that'll print off those labels there and you can print off as many sheets as you want and take them with you and then just stick those labels right on the bag. Basically this is the app here we're going to go through the functionality of it. So we click on the icon there and we're brought up with a selection of, of different options here. We can do feed submissions, soil submission, plant tissue submission, or search previous submissions. So you can go back in here and make sure that the sample was submitted correctly or if you've missed a field and that sort of thing. So we'll take a look at soil here quickly. We'll click on soil. From here you can select or create a grower. Now you can select a grower from the list here or we can create a new grower down at the bottom uh, left hand side here. Give it a code and a name. You can save that there. And then you'll notice that one you just created is right at the top of the screen there. So we can select that grower. We can add a farm. If you don't have a farm name, we can always skip a, skip these steps to the bottom right. You'll see skip. Go add a field. You could add a field name if you wanted. Or we can again skip. So we'll create this field. You can input a legal land description if you have it. So then we'll select that field. Now we're brought up with the add submission. And from here, you'll hit the add sample button here, right here to the left. And then we're brought up with the screen where we can scan in the uh, barcode. So if we hit that little uh, scan button right, right here on the, on the app, we'll click that. And then it might ask you to access your camera. And then we'll go find the, the barcode, we'll scan that in and then it'll bring up that barcode on the submission there. We can give it a sample ID, we can give it a depth. We can select a test, and based on your uh, account settings, you'll have your own set of tests here, uh, Western or, on, or Eastern specific, that sort of thing. So we can select a test. We can select up to five different tests as well as crop recommendations. So we can just choose a few here. If you just start typing the crop name, it'll fill in the crop for you and the, a default yield. You can always override that yield if you'd like there. And then at the bottom, you just hit save. So you'll see the one sample there. Now you could go add another sample until the submission is complete. And then once the submission is complete, you'll hit the submit button. And then we'll say finalize submission, yes. So that submission was uh, successfully submitted. Now you're brought back here where you can create another submission for the same grower in the same field. Or if you want to start over with a different grower, you go back to this screen and start all over again. And so basically that's uh, how we do the soil submission. And uh, we'll talk about the other modules in a later time here.